Hi, this is Brian again with The Balanced Dog, and I'm in here with Jake. Uh, he's a, what we call a very low defense dog or an insecure dog. And, um, you know, reports of uh, him being um, crate aggressive or cage aggressive, um, barrier aggressive, um, some resource guarding issues. Um, and that, in, and be him being a high flight dog, which uh, we discovered that... Um, He's got really high pack drive, and therefore his flight behavior went away pretty quick. So that's a really good sign. So as you can see, this is his second day here, and um, I have him here in the house because I wanted to get him more comfortable with me kind of coming in the room all the time. And what I've been able to get to now is, you know, I can stand up over him, which normally would have created um, him to be reactive. And you can see he's here at the kennel, and. I've had him out, you know, a handful of times from when he came in. So he's quite eager, you know, to come out. So what I'm doing here is just working on him, you know, coming in and out of the crate. Because he wants to go into the crate uh, a lot of times just out of fear, uh, which is, that's getting better too. So he's actually, we're making some awesome progress with this guy. Let's go. I'm just going to move him back in and out of the crate. Jake. Let's go. Come on. Casa. Yes, he's going to be bilingual. I don't like crate, cage, whatever. We make it nice, soft. Casa. Let's go. Well done, buddy. Let's go. Good boy. Wait. Thank you. Good boy. Casa. So now he, he he's getting to the point where he's going to, looks like he's getting ready to climb up on me, like clamber up on me. I'm totally cool with that right now. That's something I can fix down the road. Um, you know, I can just redirect them. I can stand up and take them out and move them back in again. I don't have to shove them off of me or anything. That is a good opportunity for him to bite. So if he's climbing up on me, it's a definitely an insecure uh, behavior. And um, maybe it's been nurtured. But what I'm going to do is just ignore it, change the, uh, the activity. So whether I stand up and tell him, let's go, and then I cycle them back into the crate. So now his crate is, you know, we want this to be a really uh, good, safe place for him and a nice calm place to go, but I don't want him going into it out of fear, running into it out of fear. So uh, again, he's progressing really quick, which is, which is awesome. And um, he's just staying put here. So I'm going to invite him back out. Let's go. Well done. Good job, buddy. Casa. Good. Good job. So if I'm going to come in here and take off his leash, I'm not going over the top of his head. So I'm going to come in and slide this off. And I'm just moving nice and slow. And this gives me some time to kind of build up my touch relationship with him. You know, so I always start down here in the chest. So you know, I can just slip it right off his head. Well done, my friend. This is an awesome exercise to build up his uh, security you know, and that way when he gets adopted, this crate's already going to be established as that, you know, and as I, as I go along, you know, I start putting stuff up here because you can see right there how he kind of lowers his head and stuff again because he's a low defense dog. So just doing this kind of thing with him and then leaving it up there helps him kind of overcome these things that come over the top of him which people are going to do, he's a little dog, and that, that's been something that's kicked him off as well. Because going over the top creates him to go, you know, puts him in defense, and if that pressure isn't released, and he can't get away from it, go into flight, then he's obviously going to get pushed into defense. He's going to go into fight. So this is all the stuff we're trying to avoid, right? Because we know he does it, so we don't need to see it. So, awesome, buddy. <laughs> well done, my friend.